Thank you so much, dear Mr. President, dear Mr. President of World Bank, dear David, dear Madam Managing Director of IMF, dear Kristalina, dear Madam Secretary, uh, dear Janet, dear uh, Madam Vice, uh, dear Mr. Uh, Vice President of European Commission, dear Valdis, uh, dear friends from IMF team, distinguished Vice Prime Ministers, Ministers, CEO, Presidents, Vice Presidents, uh, dear friends, colleagues, dear partners. I want, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to thank all of our partner, all of partner countries and international financial institutions who not only in word but also in deed prove their full support for Ukraine and give a decisive response to Russia's military invasion. We are grateful to our international partners for the already provided assistance and support to Ukraine in these difficult times. This assistance is unprecedented and we greatly appreciate it. But Ukraine's losses and expenses are unprecedented too. Due to martial law and heavy hostilities, we have a significant state budget deficit. We still need external support both to cover the deficit of the state budget and for the subsequent recovery of the economy and reconstruction of our war-ravaged country with the support of our international partners and donors. In this context, we are sincerely grateful to the team of the World Bank and the European Commission for the second edition of the Rapid Damage and Needs Assessment of Ukraine. Thank you for this. According to the second report, Ukraine's long-term needs for the reconstruction and restoration of the consequences of the first year of the war are estimated uh, at US, US dollars uh, 411 billion, as Mr. President uh, said. Ukraine needs to attract urgently donor aid in the amount of uh, 14 US dollars, 14 billions uh, by the end of 2023. If international partners support the initiative of the World Bank, the European Commission and the UN and are able to allocate these funds in a timely manner by the end of June 2023. In this context, I'm glad to note the faithful decision of the International Monetary Fund for Ukraine to approval on the 31st of March 2023 on a new four-year extended financing program, EFF, for our country with a total amount of 15.6 billion US dollars. Thank you for this, and I also thanks to J7 countries who support long-term program of uh, support Ukraine in amount uh, 115 uh, billion dollars for the next years. It's a crucially important for my country in sense of macroeconomical stability and in sense of signal to uh, Russian Federation that uh, our partners are with us as long as it needed, and this proved this. Dear friends and partners, I would also like to note that we hope for your government's support of the multilateral trust fund mechanism created by the World Bank, Ukraine Relief, Recovery, Reconstruction and Reform Trust Fund, uh, URTF, within the frameworks of the fund restoration projects in the fields of transport infrastructure, relink projects, electrical energy repower project and healthcare heal ukraine project we are already being which are already being implemented thank you for this and thanks all partners who uh, uh, support these projects special gratitude to the united states of america which during the year of the war has already provided ukraine with grant support in the amount of more than 15.5 billion and will provide another uh, 7.4 billion by the end of 2023 so to support the activities of the government and socially vulnerable uh, sections of the population. Peace project, so named peace project, thank you, it also is very and very uh, effective. We understand, the, we understand the, the interest of development partners in receiving detailed information uh, on the directions and effectiveness of the use of funds 
uh, directed to providing assistance to Ukraine. We are completely open and transparent in matters of financial support, provide all requested information to the World Bank and to the U.S. administration, to IMF, and we already and we are ready to provide uh, even more detailed information. Our Ministry of Finances is working on the <coughs> daily basis, uh, sending all needed reports. <coughs> the restoration of Ukraine will become one of the largest investment projects in the history of Europe, but we now should pay the crucial attention to the rapid uh, needs and uh, recovery I mean 14.1 billion, which is estimated by the World Bank. And this is the number one priority for my country, to bring people minimal level of social and humanitarian services. Part of this money we have in our budget, part, part we have from United States and European Union. We are grateful for this, but the rest, it's more than half of this amount. We need to collect, uh, not later than first, half of this year uh, to have time to invest this money in social infrastructure and critical infrastructure. We hope that thanks to the continued support of our international partners and we will ensure the reconstruction of, of our country and the restoration of the national economy in a short period of time. And sincerely thank all governments and all countries that help Ukraine and Ukrainians, all the financial organizations, World Bank, IMF, all of our partners. We hope for our further fruitful cooperation. Together we will win, no doubt. Thank you for your attention and thank you for your support, crucial support. Thank you so much. Thanks.